my interest in forestry started way back in the early 1970s when I went to Aberdeen University to do a PhD in forest ecology. It was Professor Peter Ashton who enticed me to study a project in Sri Lanka and he suggested that I study the rainforests of the island because they were very, very important uh, from the point of view of endemic plants. My PhD training was in um, microbial genetics and biochemistry, which is more a uh, lab-based uh, study. And uh, when I came back to Sri Lanka, I found that the facilities available for such studies to be continued there are very limited opportunities here. On the other hand, my wife Savi, she came back uh, having worked in a Sri Lankan rainforest. She was in fact the first uh, botanist to study the lowland rainforest of Sri Lanka. And she came back with a lot of inspiration from her supervisor to continue this work uh, further. So at the same time, when we were getting ready to decide which way to go together. Uh, at that time, the Singharaja mechanized logging project was also at its peak. And at the same time, there were uh, continuous uh, criticism on that in the newspapers. So this gave my wife an opportunity to see how the science she learned on rainforest could be uh, put into practice, that is to see what kind of damage uh, is done during the logging project. And so that appealed to me also because I'm basically an outdoor person and to work inside a laboratory uh, for my research even, I thought it's far better to go out and work in a rainforest. So that made me to take a decision to join my wife and uh, go to the field and work in the rainforest with her. So we applied for a grant, uh, in fact she applied for the grant and uh, from an international foundation for science in, uh, based in Sweden and uh, she got the, the award in her maiden attempt. And this grant giving agency actually gives uh, funds for uh, developing country researchers to uh, come back after training and settle down in their own home countries and to conduct research. So that's the kind of to prevent the brain drain from uh, developing countries. So it worked out very well and I had very little hesitation in joining her and doing uh, going to the field with her. So that's how we started our research together and we uh, went together. It was not so easy to start with. We had to rough out a lot in the field and uh, I enjoyed going with her and also we were newly married then so I didn't want to let my wife go and work alone in a rainforest while I am holed up in a laboratory wearing a lab coat. So I shed my lab coat and went to the field and continued to work with her. So then uh, we, we continued like that in rather difficult situations uh, like uh, we had to go to the deep field in different parts of Singaraja forest and also climb trees for certain types of research and um, at the same time uh, she was she's an excellent teacher so she wanted to take the students to the field because teaching forest ecology in the laboratory is something that she never enjoyed. So I had to support her when she is taking a large number of students, mostly the female students that she has to take responsibility on. So I also helped her in, uh, in uh, research and also in the administrative uh, capacity uh, in our work together. So this we continued and we enjoyed very much the working together and looking back it's a very enjoyable uh, period for us. Though it was uh, 40 odd years 
uh, that we had worked together like this uh, from early 1970s. Uh, we didn't feel the time passing by because we really we enjoyed the work and I'm very happy that I was able to support a, a research program, a long-term research program which is of national and now it's uh, regionally as well as a globally important area that is rainforest conservation and restoration of rainforests.